Welcome to the festive edition, so festive, oh. so festive, oh, oh, oh. of the Mr. Courgette and Mr. DBSB Chili, Chili and, and Zombie, Zombie Experience. Experience. Wow, that yeah. was that was that was good. Yeah, that was pretty damn good this time. Yes, yeah. excellent. Um, so this is episode. Oh yeah, yeah, forty-two. Ah. What is the meaning of that? Eh? What is the meaning of that? Who knows? No. Anyhow, um, we thought for a change we'd try some chili and watch a film. Oh yeah, that'd be that'd be good. Maybe with some zombies as, good as, yeah. as a thingy. Yeah. So tonight um, we have a hot sauce that's come all the way from Germany. Oh, good mm. Abend. Ich bin ein Tasse This is called Berlin Brent, and it is made by the people that bought you. Crazy bastard sauce. Oh, I think we, we've tried several crazy bastards. Have we now? Well, I know I have because I tried it on Mr. Fritz and Fiery Friends Ooh. as a special experimental via, live via FaceTime. Oh, internet thing. Yeah, an Ooh. internet show. Yes. You with your friends in high places. Yeah. Well, well, um, I recently travelled over to Berlin and uh, met the awesome crazy bastard sauce people, and um, tried lots of their range, and came back with this one, which is only available in Berlin at the moment. You can't buy it online, but all the ingredients are grown locally, and the chilies are grown in people's window boxes, which I thought was rather awesome. That's so, yeah, yeah. That's brilliant. So, lots of different chilies in this. So, we're going to give it a shake. And we're going to try this with our uh, our new sampling spoons. Because, look, we have merch. Well, when you say merch... For ourselves. Yeah, for ourselves. Uh, no one else can buy this merch. No, no, that would be just yeah. shameless profiteering. Yeah. That's not what we're about at all. No. Buy things here. There's no link. No, there isn't any. Okay. Ooh, that is very, very fragrant. Yeah. Very fruity. Fruity. There's a vinegary thing that a lot of sauces. Mm. That's a main yeah. component. Shall I be mother? Yes, you do because. Go wash behind your ears. <laughs> That is looking a good thick sauce. It is indeed. Almost chutney like. Oh, got a oh. healthy dose here. Oh, the the, uh, the onion opens up. Oh, there's a yeah, very much onion and garlic, and there's a real hit of chili up there, isn't there? Yeah, that's smelling really good. Right, yeah. really good combo. Shall we? Yeah. It's a nice little tingle on your tongue. <coughs> the onion and the vinegar comes through a little bit. And then you've got a little bit of a build. It's not insanely hot at all. No. Really nice, sort of mellow, little bit of a build. It's quite a sharp sauce. Mm. I think that might be quite nice with something which has got a slightly sweet flavour. Mm. Yeah, definitely. Um, so if you were to put it on... Pizza with pineapple on it. No, no, you never put pineapple on a pizza. Why? Why would you do that? Because it annoys people. <sighs> now, you see, I think, right, I would put some of that on a, co uh, a big slice of cauliflower and cook it like a steak. Okay, yeah. I think it does need some sweetness to just go in, in with it, I think. You say you like you do, uh, like, uh, um, words. Mm. So maybe you put like with some apple or something. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yes. Okay. A sandwich. Visualize a sandwich. Uh, you've got one slice like that. 
and then you got some cheese or vegetarian uh, vegan cheese alternative then a slice of apple on top and then a slavering of this sauce on top of that and then the other one on top and that would be yes yeah yeah okay recipes from dbsb coming soon yeah but only in the astral plane mm. so tonight's film <laughs> oh anyway it's a thumbs up for me on the sauce yeah awesome and um you can't buy it here but you can buy many other crazy bastard sauces here yes. and you can follow their address and go to their shop and buy this one um, but tonight's film is The Night Eats the World um, this is described as 28 Days Later meets Shaun of the Dead which I'm, I'm perplexed about because 28 Days Later is a fairly serious zombie film and Shaun of the Dead isn't how do you, you know, you, you... Well, I'm trepidatious of this review because the other review says engaging, emotional, scary, a masterpiece. So, um, I get the feeling it's probably going to lean more towards the serious. Yeah. But it's got the Eiffel Tower in it. Yeah. And it's got zombies. And I don't know what else we could ask for, really. No. No. Cool. We'll see you back here in a bit. So, that was The Night Eats the World. Um, oh, oh. I, re I really enjoyed it. Yeah, it was really good. It was a good think piece and something mm. quite away from the usual yeah. zombie Yeah. I mean, film. so many zombie films are all about travelling in packs and moving around and you know characters dying off one by one. This was a very good single location, one character's descent into madness. Uh, I, well, yeah, but I think it was also a good study into loneliness and also a study of, in the apocalypse, perhaps it isn't the gung-ho, have-a-go heroes that are going to survive. Hmm. I think it was just, it was very interesting, again, again, we try not to give away too many spoilers. Um, interesting for a character to wake up in the middle of a zombie apocalypse and then go, right, what do I do? Yeah. And then have a very methodical approach. It was almost like a project manager had woken up yeah. in the middle of a zombie apocalypse and gone, right, okay, then how are we going to manage this one then? Yeah. Um, you know, and, and it's really good, isn't it? I, I like the way it's very slow burns, you know, methodically goes through sort of a way of survival um, uh, but then you can see the change in the characters the longer they're on their own who is the main character um, Budget I, Ryan Gosling Budget Ryan Gosling uh, what, is it, what is his name I can't, I can't. Oh, if you're asking me we, we can look it up later and you can edit it in but yeah he I think he did some pretty intense method acting yeah. Um, oh, who was it who did The Machinist? I can't remember now. Edward Christian Norton? Bale. Christian Bale. Christian Bale. I, yeah, yeah, I think the, this guy, he, he went through a multitude, not a multitude, he went through several haircuts. He started off... Yeah, yeah. Beard, beard haircut. Yeah. Haircut, looking like kind of chap around yeah. town. And um, as he rationed his supplies. As he rationed his supplies. Yeah. He... And it was, you know, it wasn't just a case of uh, makeup and and stuff because he was his his face was more gaunt, and then there was there was stuff um, with his hair, hair cutting, yeah. you know, getting yeah. to. Uh, and I wonder if part of that was like he, the idea of him having to cut his hair eventually with rusty razor blades as yeah. he's run out, or but um, I really love the makeup in it as well. I think. Um, both his makeup and the zombies' makeup was fantastic. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, a lot of work for amputee actors, which yeah. uh, we're always. Um, yeah. Well, let's do prosthetics. Mm. I'm not sure they were. Ah. Uh -huh. um, I don't know. Well, but I have to look at the yeah. trivia for the film. But uh, yeah, really good. Um, 
not going to give anything away with this, but having the Eiffel Tower on here is a big lie. There is no mm. Eiffel Tower. But I'm going to recommend this to a, a quite a few of my uh, experimental music friends. Oh, yeah, there's some great sort of yeah. Yeah, use of household implements. I think that there's a, there's a kind of a thing that I've always wanted to do a sci-fi film about travelling in deep space and it's about the boredom of travelling okay. in deep space and this in a in a, this a lot of this was about mm. how to survive the boredom of a zombie apocalypse yeah yeah it was it was the, uh, it was the antithesis of the wham bam thank you ma'am um, splatter fest yeah. we had recently you know and yeah oh just uh, the zombies were great yeah um, the incessant Zombies, you yeah, know, it's the, and and very quiet. Oh yeah, silent none of zombies. the the groaning. There was a bit of yeah, but no moaning or brains or yeah, very quick zombies, yeah. feet to foot. But um, not necessarily the most intelligent zombies, but um, just the smell of flesh and knowing how to get through a gap and get to people. Yeah. You know? Um, they're very very good hunters but it was like the, the almost like the primeval would that be right I don't know but you know what I mean like the they're not dumb they're revolving yeah like, very very slowly so you know you know they're eventually working out how to get up higher they're eventually doing various things but but it's all very very slow burn and yeah I, I think the whole was, film yeah. is very slow and burn and yeah. A weird word for a zombie film. Kind of charming. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, and I definitely, definitely thumbs up from me. De yeah, a thumbs up and a sore finger from me. Awesome. Yes, yeah, like, that's not a zombie bite. <laughs>